hi so just finishing up my silk natural little collection that I've accumulated and gonna finish it up with their eye products so I'm gonna start off with their eye primer eye fix eye primer and this is what it looks like it is just like a cream color let me apply it. Maybe that wasn't that good of a place to apply it. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. See that? Just like a skin color. And you blend it in and it kind of lightens your skin just a little bit. How they recommend that you use this is apply as a highlighter or a base under eyeshadow for a longer lasting look. And this is 0.2 ounces or 5.7 grams. So this will lighten your eye because I'm um, pretty fair and this lightens my skin when I apply it. And unfortunately it doesn't really work for me in terms of preventing creasing but to be fair everything creases on me. So the only thing that's really worked is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I haven't tried Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so I don't know. And um, the ELF Mineral Primer actually works pretty well also on me. But mostly those liquid wand kind of primers. Nothing creamy like this has worked for me. And I do find the other ones a little drying, and that's why I was hoping to try this cream and that it would work for me. But it's just too creamy. I've tried you know, applying it generously. I've tried just barely applying it at all because I thought maybe the amount of product would matter. But unfortunately for me, I get creasing with this product. And that's not to say that you will too. Um, just if you have, maybe if you have oily lids, if creamy products tend to crease on you, then this will probably have a higher probability of creasing on you, but if those things aren't a problem for you, then this may very well work. So keep that in mind, and let's see what else I want to tell you about this. Oh, I've been using it under my eye as a primer for my um, concealer, and it works pretty well for that, because that part of my eye is kind of dry anyways, so it's not really um, oily and doesn't, it prevents my um, concealer from kind of fading. So it does work well for that. You can recycle it for that purpose if it doesn't work for you. And then this next thing is the cream eyeliner in Amethyst. And this is the packaging that it comes in. It's this teeny tiny little plastic. Here it is. And <laughs> it's probably like the size of a quarter. It's this plastic little snap open thing. And this is what it looks like. It's a very deep, plummy kind of purple. And it does have some shimmer to it. And I should have brought a eyeliner brush. <laughs> but I didn't. So I'm going to have to swatch this with my finger for you. So, aside from being a <laughs> very thick and messy line, this is what it looks like. Just a very deep purple. And the oh, I forgot to tell you, this is like ten dollars. It's like nine ninety five or something. And this one is, I think, six dollars and fifty cents. So it looks very small, but I think this amount of product will last quite a while. I mean, depending on how heavily and how much you use the liner. My thoughts on it are that um, I just think it should probably should be cheaper considering they're saving so much money because they are giving you a little bit of product and it is like this like kind of cheapo packaging because you can get a cream liner for like three dollars from Wet n Wild at Walmart and so the fact that you're paying double for this and getting um, you know less product in a um, you know cheaper package I just think that um, the price of this is probably a little bit too much in my opinion but it is a nice product and it is um, unlike the Wet n Wild, it is natural and they're 
isn't, I don't know what kind of, you know, preservatives Wet n Wild has, but I do know that this doesn't have, like, parabens and stuff like that in it. And let's see. The only thing with it is, and this could just be cream liners in general for me, because I don't wear cream liners. This is actually my first cream liner. It's, it's almost like if you've ever had a really soft eyeliner pencil, maybe like the, um, I know the Urban Decay pencils are really soft. So it's the same kind of texture. It's like if you took that part out of them and like melted it into this, this is like a, you know, melted down eyeliner pencil. The only difference now is you apply it with a little brush instead of in pencil form. And so it's a little solid for me. I thought it would be like really creamy and soft and it could also be that the weather here is cold or it could be this is how all cream liners are. I don't know, it's my first one so maybe I was expecting it to be more like a gel liner or something. Um, but just keep that in mind if you're comparing it to something you own because I have nothing to compare it to but it's a little bit solid for me and the way it applies it, it kind of looks the same as a pencil would as an eyeliner pencil. And now I will swatch some eyeshadows for you. They come in little jars like this. Same as Everyday Minerals sample jar. And you get, it's $4. And you get to pick a free one with every $30 purchase. So this first one, right next to the eyeliner, if you can see it shining there, it's called Whisper. And it's a very pretty light pink with lots and lots of golden kind of frost and shimmer. And I really like it. It's, I think it's kind of a unique pink because of all that gold that it has in it. So that one's very pretty. And then this one is probably my favorite, this next one. And it's called Sprite. And it looks white. But when you apply it... It has a really strong golden sheen to it. I'm not sure how well it's coming across in the camera, but it's like a very golden kind of color. And it would be a really pretty highlighter color. There you go. And the next one I have is called Spa. And this is just like a grayish green color. And this one is not quite as pearly as the other two. It's a little bit less shiny, but it still has a little bit of a glow to it. None of these are matte. I don't own any of the matte eyeshadows. So you can see it's just like a muted grayish green. There's no... Um, there's no iridescence to it or anything like that. But Sprite does have that golden iridescence to it. And then the last one I got is Idolize. And this one is really raved about by a lot of people as being like the one must have color. And I'm probably in the minority when I say <laughs> it's just okay. For me. So you can see it there. It's just like a grayish, silverish purple. You can see that there. It does have shimmer to it. So, I mean, it's a pretty color. And I do really like it. I think it is just a little bit overhyped. And maybe it's because I like kind of bold, unique colors. And grayish purple I wasn't like wow this is a really unique color <laughs> you know I can't believe I've lived my whole life without it it just wasn't that sort of thing for me but I know a lot of people really love it and it's probably because it's a very wearable color it's not too dark it's not too light you know it's um it's not a warm purple because sometimes really warm reddish purples tend to kind of look like on me anyways, like I have a black eye or something, so this is a really, really pretty color. It's not, um, it's not like a bold color or anything like that. It's very neutral, so probably a good everyday color. Probably another reason people like it, so. And that is all. Thank you for watching.